The developing story we're following of Vallejo police officer who was fired for shooting and killing Sean Monterosa in 2020 could get his job back. Yeah, an attorney for the Vallejo Police Officers Association says that the officer's termination has been overturned in arbitration. We have Crown Force Michael Thomas live in the newsroom with more on this and the reaction. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, good morning, everyone. You know, this killing happened during the George Floyd protest, and the Vallejo Police Union lawyer says his reinstatement, uh, that officer, is quote the right decision but not everyone agrees you know let's give you some background so back on June 2nd of 2020 Sean Monterosa was shot and killed outside of a Walgreens by detective Jarrett Todd who was eventually fired for the killing now detective Todd and two other officers were responding to the location for reports of looting as the three officers approached the store body camera footage shows Todd in the back seat of a vehicle stick a rifle between the two officers in front and fire five times through the front windshield at Sean on Monterosa and eventually killed him. Now, police say Detective Ton mistook a hammer in Monterosa's pocket for a gun, which led to him opening fire. He was placed on administrative leave at that time and was eventually fired in 2021 by the then police chief, Shawnee Williams, who said he had termin or he had determined that Monterosa was on his knees with his hands up in the air when those shots were fired and he was killed. Now, an attorney for the Vallejo Police Union says uh, Ton's firing was overturned by the courts recently and he called it quote the right decision but civil rights attorney John Burris who at one point was representing the Monterosa family says he's disappointed he told us in quote saying even though police may have committed this in this case an outrageous act it's not surprising that that has happened and it happens more times than not end quote in the last five years Ton had previously shot three other people in the Vallejo area while on duty none of whom were found to have have guns on them. Right now, the Vallejo Police Department has not responded to any comments, and the Monterosa family says that they do plan to protest this move, and we're expected to hear more later this week. There's going to be a press conference on Thursday. That's the very latest here in the newsroom. I'm Michael Thomas. Daria James, I'll send it back to you.